This video is for faculty in the Connecticut State Colleges and Universities. It will introduce you to some of the updates to course navigation and course tools that you will find in Blackboard Learn beginning in Fall 2013. For those of you who like to know version information, this video addresses updates that are new to Blackboard Learn version 9.1 with Service Packs 10 and 11. Most of the tool settings and properties are exactly the same, but there are some nice new updates that we think you'll like. First, I want to quickly draw your attention to a couple of navigation changes that may not be immediately apparent. Notice that over here on the left, there's a new Home button above the menu. If you mouse over this button, the name of the course displays. If you click the small drop-down next to it, you'll see links that enable you to jump directly to recently visited courses. The buttons up at the top of the menu are exactly the same, and the process of adding new buttons to your course menu is also the same. If you want to collapse the course menu, you can just mouse over the vertical space between the menu and the right-hand content frame and click, or you can click on the left pointing arrow icon the course menu is collapsed. You can expand the course menu again by clicking on the vertical bar to the left of the collapsed menu. Also notice that when you mouse over it, there's a right pointing arrow. Now the course menu redisplays. As you can see, I've got Edit Mode set to On, so I'm seeing all of the instructor controls. One thing you'll notice is that certain icons and buttons don't appear unless you mouse over them. For example, here on the course menu, the drag and drop icons don't appear until I mouse over them. Also, notice that I have to mouse over the icons to the right side of the menu items for the drop down to display. Similarly, over here in the right-hand content frame, I need to mouse over the drop-down arrow in order to see the options for editing my announcement. Next, let's look at the new content editor, which used to be referred to as the text editor. One thing that faculty will like is that now it has built-in paste from Word capabilities. So, when you paste from Microsoft Word, the formatting won't get all messed up. For example, I'm going to go to Build Content and click Item. I've brought forward a Word document that I want to copy from. You can see that I'm copying the heading as well as a numbered list and a table. Now I'll paste my copied text. And there is my pasted text from Word, including the table. Now I can modify this however I wish. While I'm here and I have your attention, take note of a few other things in Content Editor that you might not have noticed before. Did you know that you can collapse and expand the toolbars by clicking the little double arrows to the right? Or that if you need a little bit more space, you can now drag the right bottom corner to expand the content box. Also, check out the Mashups drop-down. Blackboard Mashups enable you to easily embed small thumbnail links to external resources such as Flickr photos, YouTube videos, SlideShare presentations, or to Kaltura streaming media that you may have uploaded or would like to upload using the Kaltura media building block. If for some reason from within your course you don't see the mashups listed here, go to Control Panel, Customization, and click Tool Availability. And be sure that all of the checkboxes for the various mashups are selected. Other new features and tools for faculty in Blackboard Learn 9.1 with Service Packs 10 and 11 include the following. A new navigation panel and My Blackboard tools. Inline assignment grading, which enables faculty to comment and annotate on student-submitted documents right in their web browsers without downloading them. Enhanced Discussion Board Thread Displays, and also a Post First option, which requires that students post their own initial response to a discussion forum before they can read posts by other students. The new calendar includes drag-and-drop functionality, as well as direct links from the calendar to various types of activities, such as assignments and tests. It also includes export features. Tests, surveys, and pools now includes 
item analysis on individual test questions, and enhanced matching features in the fill in the blank and fill in multiple blanks question types. And finally, the Retention Center can help you identify at-risk students in your course. I hope that you have found this introductory overview video helpful and that you enjoy the new features in Blackboard Learn.